Welcome back to my channel. I'm Amber and today I'm going to show you how to make these flower shaped journal cards from your own flowers in your garden. If you don't have um, a garden, you don't have your own flowers, you can always go and take pictures of flowers you like at your local garden center. The reason I like to take my own photos of my own flowers instead of pulling an image off the internet is because it adds my own personal touch. Um, these are my own flowers um, that are going in at my own home and that I picked out personally. And I just think that makes it a little more special. Just going out into my garden and making them myself is just the way I like to do it. And I'm gonna show you just how I do it. So let's go out to my garden. All right, we're in my garden. These are my roses. And we want to find a flower that you like that is as unblemished as possible. Um, so this is probably the best one I can find right now. And you wanna get right in the center of the flower. So, um, so like this is a good one compared to say like this one because you have these brown spots on it but if the, even if there's a slight blemish you can still photoshop that out and I don't really mind it too much so um, you get this center focus on your flower and then take a snapshot here's another one I believe it's a primrose so you want to make sure you're you don't have too much shadow in it um let me see if i can turn this okay so that removes some of the shadow when i turn it so i would take a snapshot just like this center um get the center focus of the flower you don't want a side view really want that nice center shot right there okay, this is an example of a flower that wouldn't be so great to use just because the petals are so far apart um, it would be harder to cut out and there just wouldn't be that much journaling space on the back because of the space between the petals so we want to find flowers that are nice and round and full and the petals are touching each other so you have the maximum journaling space all right guys so let me take you through the steps of erasing a background from an image. I use Photoshop Elements for mine, but that is a paid program. So I wanted to find something free for you guys. So this is erase.bg, erase okay? So you can go here and remove background the background for free. So what we, we're gonna do is we're gonna come down uh, where it says upload image. We're gonna click that. And then I'm going to go to my image. I'll click the rose here. Okay. All right, so it removed the background here. We do have this little bud here, but we can always cut that out. It doesn't really matter. So um, the reason why I want to remove the background is because printing this whole image just takes it just takes more ink and if we remove the background it just it just saves ink for us so once we have our our image here we're going to come down here and download original size we're going to open that up so we have our flower here we're going to come to these three dots up here and we're going to save as, I'm gonna save it in, let's say, um, my digis, okay. Um, I'm gonna save it as rose, and I'm going to save it as, you wanna save it as a PNG, okay? Because that keeps that transparent background. So save that as PNG and press save. Okay, I'll show that to you one more time. So I'm going to upload another image. I'll come right up here where it says upload image or you can come right here. So you can click it here or here. I'm going to upload that primrose right here. Press open. Okay. 
Okay, it removed the background of my primrose. I'm going to come down to download original size. Open file. Click the three dots. Save as. We're going to save it as a primrose. PNG. All right, press save. And that's all there is to it. All right, so before I put these images onto a blank Word document, um, what I want to do is crop this so that I can size it correctly. Um, so if that's confusing, you'll, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the edit symbol here, the edit image. And then I'm going to crop this. We're going to come very close to the edge here. I'm going to pull these down because I just want this flower image. That's all I want. I don't want any of this background. So that when I resize in um, my Word document, then I will have the correct size. I won't have, it won't um, include all this background in the resizing. So then I'm going to go ahead and save that. Click save. I'm going to replace that. Okay, then I'm going to go to my rows. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to edit. And I'm going to crop this. And it's okay because I don't want that bud there anyway when I cut out. So we're going to move this very close to that edge. All right. I'm going to click save. Okay, now we have these cropped so that's just the flower and not all the background. So now we're going to go to our Word document. All right, so here we're going to add our flowers to a blank Word document. I use, again, I use Photoshop Elements for mine, but if you don't have that, you can use Word. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Insert Pictures from this device. Okay, and then I'm going to pull up my primrose and my rose and press insert. Okay, for these pictures, before we start manipulating them, we want to go to this little icon here, the layout options, and we're going to click either um, behind text or in front of text. So this allows us to move the image freely on the page. So I'm going to do the same thing with my rows here. I'm going to go to the layout options, click, I think I clicked in front of text, and now it allows me to move this, this around freely. Okay, so now I'm going to resize my rows. Um, so before, if I hadn't have cropped this, if I resized this, it would have included that blank space in the size. So of course we don't want to do that because then we don't know what size the actual rows is. So we're going to go um, now to, we're going to right click on the image, click size and position. I'm going to make my rows about four inches for a journal card and make sure the lock aspect ratio is checked. And we're going to press OK. So there is my rows. I'm going to position that there. I'm going to come down here to my primrose, right click, size and position. Again, I'm going to click about four inches, press OK, and then I have my primrose, okay? I'm going to have my primrose over here. Actually, I'm going to make these just a tiny bit smaller so I can fit two there. So I'm going to just take this arrow on the corner that's going diagonally and I'm going to shrink it down just a bit. Do the same thing with this one. Okay, so now I have these two. Now I want to fill my page so I'm going 
to make a couple more. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste. Now again, um, did, let me see, did this, yeah, it copied the layout option too, so we, of course we don't have to do that again. So I'm just going to move this down here, and then I will copy my primrose again, right click, copy, then right click, paste, and then I'm going to move that primrose Oh, this one didn't copy it. Okay. Now I can move. So if it didn't copy the layout option, just go ahead and click click that little symbol again to fix it. Um, and then I'll move my rows back up here. Let's see if we have room for more. I don't think we have room for more. Um, so I can get about four flowers on this page. So then I will just go ahead um, and I want what I want to do is I want to go to layout as well to the margins and I want to have narrow margins so that I don't um, cut off any of my flowers in printing. So I'm just going to move these back because it adjusted it and then we will be set to print and then so you will print them on cardstock then you'll before you cut them out flip it and put if you want a background on it go ahead and print a background on the other side and then you'll be ready to cut these out so I'll be back with you in just a couple seconds and we'll add some details all right I printed out our flowers and I have backed them with the backing paper and I'm going to cut out just a couple of these and, and give you some ideas of what you could do with them. All right, we've got our flower images cut out and now we're going to just add a little something to them um, to make them a little more special. So what I usually do is I use a, um, a gold metallic pen to outline uh, the flower petals. So I'm going to do the rose and we're gonna try something different on this one. However, if I did use the pen for this one, there's, I mean, there's a lot of petals on this one, so there's gonna be a lot of gold. So this one, I would outline the four petals, but I would also do these lines on the petals, just to give it a little more um, bling. So I'm just going to go ahead and outline all these petals. So I'll speed this up for you. And it just does it doesn't have to be perfect it's just um, you want to get the general idea here all right how beautiful is that amazing what a little bit of gold ink can do just turns it into something spectacular I love it so other things you can do are, I was thinking about maybe using some embossing powder. I don't have, this is the only color I have and clear, so that wasn't an option for me yet until I get some other ones. And then um, gold leaf, imitation gold leaf would be a really pretty way to um, add some gold to this. And one I thought we'd try is glitter. So we're gonna try that around these edges. Let's see how that works out. Okay. Just gonna follow these edges. I think I'll do one petal at a time. 
I'm running out of glue. do these lines too. Okay. Let's see how that looks. That's interesting. <laughs> Let's try the other petals and see what that looks like. This is more of a dull kind of gold, so it's not um, as appealing to me as the metallic marker because that's more of a bright gold. I think I need to do thinner lines of glue too. But it is pretty cool. I like that. But I would prefer to have a brighter gold. Some stitching around the petals would be um, a pretty cool thing to do too. Um, I have gold thread, so that would be a pretty cool option too. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. So if you have any other ideas of how you could um, jazz up these flowers, um, drop a comment um, down below. Um, I'd love to try some of your ideas out and see um, how they turn out. Well, that's kind of cool, huh? That's a lot of bling. So this is definitely more subtle. And this is like pow in your face. So whatever you like, go for it. But definitely leave me um your ideas and I'll try some of them out um, if I get the chance. All right, so there you have it. That's how you do the flower journal cards and um, great addition to your journals. Very personal, like it has a personal touch to it. I will put this as a, the ones that we did today, I will put it up as a freebie on my Kofi page. So hop on over there if you don't have the ability or just don't want to make them on your own, um, the freebies there for you to use. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And I hope to see you again soon for another tutorial. Have a great day, guys.